You don't know what it is, it's a mob. Today I have Jack Sparrow from Hot Toys, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. With this, I'm gonna kick you a little background story, of how I came to collect one six figures. It's a, a weird story. So I had a dream that Robin Williams of all people, is, it's a very strange dream. He was victimizing younger people around a town that I had the dream in, of course. I didn't know anyone in the dream. I just heard on TV what he was doing and no one cared about what he was doing because he was so famous and he was Robin Williams and all that. So I made up in my mind that if I were to catch him, it was just going to be on. I was going to get him. So I happened to go into a corner store, grocery or, you know, convenience store. And he was there. So immediately I just went up to him and I started beating him and I got him where ended up towards the back of the store. I remember being near an aisle and on the other side it was just a wall or it had stuff by it. I can't really recall to be certain. I just remember being next to a shelf and there was a can of tomato sauce. So I wanted to make him suffer for hurting those kids. So I picked up the tomato sauce and I started beating him over the head, just smashing him over the head and I woke up. I woke up and I thought to myself, Robin Williams, what, why would I have a dream like that? He's, you know, you see him on TV and all that. He's such a good guy or character, but you never know what's going on behind the scenes. And I'm not saying that he had anything to do with that. I'm just saying, you know, you don't know. They're just celebrities. You just see what that's presented to you. So I told my cousin and my friend Rusty what about the dream and how strange it was and they're like yeah that's really weird that you dream that so i don't know if it was a month or a couple weeks later he died and they called me back and they're like well did you see what happened and i was like your dream came true he he died it was really strange i mean he died under cer different circumstances but it was weird that I had a dream that I killed him in <laughs> my dream of all things. What relates it to this figure is I had another dream that Johnny Depp died. And in the dream, there was a news reporter in front of his house and they were saying that he died. It didn't say of what in particular, it just said that he was dead. The way that I handled the dream is that I thought to myself is I don't have anything commemorative of Johnny Depp. So just in case it does happen, it happened before. You never know. Just being an action figure junkie, we always related to, I gotta have the action figure of him just for something memorable. And that's what I did. I started getting the, I got the Tonto, then I got the Jack Sparrow, the one that I want the most, and hopefully I get it in the future, is Ichabod Crane. I had a chance to get it before I got this figure where there was a bid and it only went to $180. I should have got that. I'm gonna kick myself forever about that. What can I do about it? So what I'll do, as you know, is I'll get out the accessories, I'll show those off, and then I'll get to the figure. Start off, here's his sword. And it's done so nice. Looks very good, very well done. Looks like a real with two telescopes, the regular one. They both come with lenses. Can't see through them. The standard and when Jack and Barbosa were going back and forth and pulled out this ridiculous telescope. It comes with two flintlock pistols, very detailed. At the bottom they have the face, they look weathered on the metal. His hat, it feels like it's paper, just hardened paper, but it's not. It's fabric that's hardened. It's regular jackets. Bottle. bottle with the ship, the black pearl. Looks like they might've put some resin in it to simulate water. And there's also the rum bottle. I had this in the picture at the sand dunes. I took a picture here in Colorado. I'll show it at the end of the video. It came out really nice. Here's the compasses. I'll open this one. This one I broke, unfortunately. So I had to get a new one. Very detailed. It's hot toys are so well done. Now, I don't want to open this one, but this is how it originally comes with the string on it and the loop around back. And that's where mine broke. It's the wrong end. There it is. Some of the trinkets that he comes with, a shrunken head. You could put these around his belt. I was assuming this was his mom, but it looks like 
It does have a mustache. His mom could have had a mustache. <laughs> Never know. The shrunken head. The monkey's paw. And I don't know if this is pieces of eight, just to have him off his hair. Looks like there's a tooth and a bead. I'm not too sure what this is. I kind of tried to look up the research what it was. I couldn't find nothing. I assume that it's a piece of eight. And here's the extra face piece. And the way that you put them on or put them back on is what you do is remove the hair and then unplug the ball joint and put the ball joint back in and then put the hair back on. It's really simple. It's not like the regular Hot Toys figures where they come with the extra head and you just unplug the ball joint. This one is just the face. And it has this feature back here where you move this little stick around and it moves his eyes. So realistic with those glossy eyes. It just what makes the figure good. Like my ass figure, he has those glossy eyes and man, it just makes him look so good. And it's the same on this. You can move from side to side, look down at that glare, or you can make him dead jack. <laughs> he comes with a number of hands. The left hand has three rings where the right has one ring. So that's how you can tell the difference. And I'm not gonna go through all of them. There's just so many. And I'm not sure if I even got all the hands. There's two on the body that I'm not showing right here. I got a second hand off eBay and that's saying that I got it second hand is like saying I paid double or triple for what it's worth. <laughs> it's more like it. So it's second hand by no means. It's just I got it used because that's the only way you can find them now. You can't find them brand new. I think there was maybe one brand new that was up for 900 bucks and that's not going to happen. I got this one for I think it was four or something. I got it for. And now to the figure. What a beautiful figure it's a gorgeous gorgeous figure and not just because i'm kind of you know, hung up on johnny depp it's a very nice figure the coats the fur chains the rings the buttons the eyes every little detail on this figure is just amazing the wheelhouse that it comes with is not the exclusive about it it comes with the wheel and also the extra big telescope you can't go wrong with a Hot Toys figure. You just can't. If you're buying brand new Hot Toys, they're just flawless. One that I wish to get in the future and I hope to have someday is the Terminator figure that they made, the Battle Damage T-800 from the original movie where he goes into the police station and he just blows everybody away. He's wearing that black leather coat and the brown pants. I just love that figure. I hope to have it someday. I just, that the Ichabod Crane and that figure, that'd be dope to have. This current toys in one six, you just get what you pay for. If you're gonna pay over 200 bucks, you're just gonna get a solid figure. I could just go on and on which ones I've seen or which ones I'd like to get. You can't go wrong. If you're gonna collect these, they're just gonna go up in value. So if you're thinking about that you're gonna lose money on it, you're never going to. They're always gonna become expensive. So if you're looking to collect something cool and in investment ways, this is the best way to go. You cannot lose out on your money. But this is Jack Sparrow's On Stranger Tides from Pirates of the Caribbean from Hot Toys. It's the mob.